was so incredibly hard. But it's done! I don't know why this is so zoomed up. I don't. This is a learning game for me. Where can I put you? That was rough before. I was so groggy. But I'm awake, I'm alive. It is a rainy, gloomy, productive looking day. So we're gonna head home. I'm gonna make some breakfast. We're gonna edit, we're gonna shower. We have lots of filming to do today, editing to do, and my contract law submissions for my moot. That's due in the next couple days as well. So we have to converse with my partner, figure all that out. Dang, this prof is such a hard marker. Like. She curved our last assignment by so much because the class average was just like so horrible. <laughs> Lady, what do you want from me? Anyways, workout of the day, check. But official good morning. I don't even know if I've said good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And today we're going to do a day in the life with my productivity habits, my healthy habits. We're gonna make some sort of yummy dinner tonight. We're just gonna hang out. My hair is disgusting, so we gotta go have a shower. hot shower makes me so thirsty. I've been trying to be better with drinking water, but carrying like a thing of water around, like, that's heavy. In hindsight, I wish I waited to wash my hair because it's such a rainy day out. Getting in and out of the car, my hair was probably bound to get a little damp. Kind of wish I just put a mask in and did a slick back bun, but before I shampoo and condition, I've been adding in this Olaplex Number no. Zero Repair Treatment. I've honestly noticed a very big difference with my hair. It helps prime, repair, and strengthen. Especially because I bleach my hair, I want to make sure I'm really helping keep it strong and nourished or else it pretty well would just break and fall off. For shampoo and conditioner, I use the Olaplex Purple Shampoo and then the regular shampoo and conditioner. I purple shampoo every other wash. I just love when my hair has that like white tone to it. And then when I get out of the shower, I use this Unite leave-in. I always spray this on damp hair and then I brush my hair out. And then once my hair dries a bit, then I add in the oils. When I was in university, one of my roommates told me that it's better to put oil in your hair when it's more dry because it actually absorbs it better instead of when it's soaking wet, which actually makes a lot of sense. I use this day nourishing oil, and then I always put in a little bit of this Olaplex leave-in as well. My hair is just so dry and frizzy and big. I need anything and everything to help tame it. So then I after also add in this Moroccan oil blow dry cream or whatever it's called. So yeah, that's kind of my hair care routine. <laughs> Coffee number two. I'll probably go to a coffee shop today and work too, so that'll probably be three today. It's fine. I just put in all the oils in my hair and I'm going to do a little blow dry just because my natural hair is literally crazy. And then I have to start editing to get my post up on Instagram today. I always edit the day of. I don't know if that's the best system, but hey, it's just kind of working for me right now. <laughs> Hi, hello, we are ready for the day. I now need to pick out an outfit. Here's the thing, I do school online, I work online, I'm online 7, which gives me no real reason to leave my house, but if I don't, I go crazy. So, I've been making a better effort to get ready for the day, do myself up a little bit, and the toilet placement is like so inconvenient. I've been kind of putting in more effort into my outfits, but here's the thing, it's extremely, fall like today. Let's see what we come up with. I need you to be honest. My roommate's at a meeting, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. I don't know if I'm out to lunch here. This is the fit. Is that weird? Like, I think I rolled these just so you could kind of see the socks. Like, I figured that's cuter. And they're too wide leg to like have the sock go around, you know what I mean? Elevated skier. 
but like cozy cute fall. I don't know, I need your guys' help, what do you think? I'm now all ready for the day, we're gonna head out, we're gonna go to a coffee shop, do some work, I am itching to get out already. It is just after one o'clock, I am feeling a little bit hungry. I am doing a cut right now, and I know like, I don't typically track macros. I don't love tracking macros because when I did for about a year, I found afterwards I started having a really negative relationship with food. But it's now been a while. I feel I've grown a lot as a person with my relationship with food. And Spencer and I are going to Mexico in December. So I kind of have a few physique goals that I want to hit for the trip just because it's kind of fun and gives me something to work towards like an exact date. So I'm loosely tracking macros. All I've eaten so far today is what I showed you guys for breakfast. Spencer went back to work today, but he left half of his protein donuts. These are so good. They're actually made by a local company. So if you're in the Kelowna area, I definitely recommend Blooming Health is the company. Now that I'm done stuffing my face, I'm just gonna snack on some apples and almond butter quickly, and then we gotta skedaddle out the door. Lickety split right now, cause I have so much to do. But we made it to the coffee shop. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna do some work. I'm looking to be a productive page today. I have so much to do, it's sickening. And I told myself if I'm really productive and I get a lot done, I'm gonna go to the mall after. Oh. Felt my go-to hub is closing at two o'clock and it's 147. So it looks like we will have to relocate ourselves. What did I pick up today? I got a new day prickly pear hair oil. I've been using this for the last year. It does wonders. My hairdresser told me my hair is in the best condition it's ever been in. So whatever I'm doing, just to keep doing it. And this is part of the program. More Olaplex purple shampoo. Got a Rare Beauty lip liner in the shade Fun. Refi brow sculpt. I'm always looking for a new brow gel. And as much as I love the e.l.f. brow lift, it's such a great price, but I don't love that it doesn't come with its own app, like app applicator. So I'm just trying new ones out. Ooh, Milk Makeup Odyssey Lip Oil Gloss. This looks so beautiful. I cannot wait for this. Like a little more than just a gloss, but way less than s lipstick. I have been wanting to try Faux Frex. I know. So I got the Freck Beauty Faux Freck, Freck XL. We'll see how that goes. I don't even know if freckles will suit me, but I've just wanted to try. And then I've really wanted a peachy toned blush. I just think it's kind of cute and fall, like with little orange tint to it. You know what I mean? So I got the Tower 28 uh, Luminous Tinted Balm in Golden Hour. That is my little haul. But this has been a bit of pretty good day, you know? A little Starbucks, a little work. I made pretty good progress on my submissions. My partner and I have pretty much, we've sent each other our official submission and now we're just working together on the summary of facts and then just formatting the document putting our reference list together bada bing bada boom let's freaking hope we did good on that oh 60 percent's <laughs> a lot though okay like what i've been getting a lot of dms on instagram lately about how i managed to be in law school how i managed to create content i can do a more dedicated video this is a pretty loosey-goosey candid vlog but I will just take a moment to touch on like main things that I do as you've kind of seen is my day is very structured. Doesn't always seem like it maybe because I work online and I study online, but I do plan my day out the night before to literally the hour. So I know exactly where I'll be. Like I penciled in going to the mall today because this is, well, I was out of shampoo and there's a couple of new products I wanted to try. Um, so that way when I'm here, I can kind of just enjoy it and chill instead of being stressed about having to do this work or having to do this or whatever whatever, whatever, because I know everything has its allotted time already, if that makes sense. That is my main tip for staying on top of a busy schedule. So you wake up with intent. You don't spend time being like, what am I going to do today? How am I going to get this all done? All frantic. Because I find that energy first thing in the morning, it 
always throws me for a loop. And I just, I hate that feeling. My next tip is to drink water. When I am dehydrated, it can lead to headaches. Also, sometimes you might think that you're hungry when you're actually dehydrated. Water helps with your energy levels. Water helps your brain having it sharp. Like, I just think you literally, I think there is a point when you can drink too much water, but I figure like 99.99% .99 of us are far, far from. So just drink water. Actually, let's add a third one. This is kind of a cheese ball one, but it is a massive part. It's just kind of knowing your why. Like I know a lot of you are in school and if you're getting your undergrad or your master's or a diploma or you're in high school, whatever you're doing, there's a purpose for why you're doing what you're doing. And just remembering your why when things get overwhelming, when things get challenging, or that even goes for, you know, finding time to work out. Remembering why you are seeking a workout in the first place. Coming back to that reason, when you're feeling overwhelmed and you're feeling like it would just be so much easier to just, you know, start working out tomorrow or I'll work out next week or whatever it is. Given there is a time and a place to prioritize your school, like everything's always circumstantial, but I'm just saying while we're all pursuing this active, productive, healthy lifestyle. The lifestyle incorporates moving your body, fueling your body, and working towards, you know, those bigger goals. This is deep. I actually don't even know if I want to say this. I'll say it. I'll say it. My biggest fear in life is to feel regretful of opportunities I didn't take because I was scared or because I was fearful of the outcome or because I was fearful of what other people would think or fearful of fail failure or whatever. That's why that whole feel the fear and do it anyways saying like that literally is my motto because my biggest fear is not living up to whatever potential is in store for me if that makes sense. So I want to show up every single day willing to be fearless and essentially grab the bull by the freaking horns. Like that's what I come back to when I'm overwhelmed as heck and I'm like why am I spreading myself so Thin. Sappy sappy city. We're closing that door. We're gonna head home, make some food, crack a zeeb, and have ourselves a night. <laughs>